Hey there, I'm Brendan 72 Mo, and welcome to my 99 car, $44 million garage tour. Up first, we have the Sentinel XS. Every car that you're going to see in this garage today is a rare spawn car. These cars are all spawning in exactly as you see them. I may have made changes to the license plates, but uh, one of the really cool things about this car and what makes it unique is the paint job. It comes with a primary color of slate blue with a uh, pearl over it and you cannot get this slate blue in los santos customs of course you can get purple as a pearl but you cannot get the slate blue car comes with all the upgrades you see here and uh let's take it out and uh see what it looks like in its natural habitat in case you're wondering where this car can be found you can find it at this intersection that i'm pointing towards right now and it spawns Every evening, well, most evenings, I should say, between 11 and, or I'm sorry, between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. in game. It helps to have a sentinel when you're uh, looking for one. Of course, I'm here at the wrong time of day, but it does help to have a sentinel when you're looking for one, and it helps to be coming from that opposite direction over there. You'll typically see it in this lane, approaching this intersection where I am sitting right now. Fantastic looking car, love the black wheels. It is a beauty. And back in the garage on Exceptionalists, we have the Ruiner. This actually spawns in two different colors, one in a gasoline green, and then one as you see here in black. And what makes this car unique? Well, there's two things that makes this car slightly unique. Uh, both of them have to do with that secondary color that you see there in the unique, worn, bright orange. Again, it's a color you cannot get in Los Angeles Customs. You can get a color very close to it, but you cannot get that exact same color. And, of course, that color is on the wheels as well. Not a color you can get on the wheels. If you're wondering where I found this ruiner... They can be found between the hours of 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. at the three Los Santos Customs in proper Los Santos, either right here where we are on the map. This is the one that I have the best luck with, is the one down by the airport. The one I have the worst luck with is this one over here under the bridge in La Mesa. And then you can kind of have some good luck with the one what everybody calls downtown, but is technically Burton right across the street from the plaza. But you can find these cars again from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Great looking car, even though it is nighttime. Still, that orange stands out against that black. Beautiful, beautiful car, one of a kind. And I did mention at the outset of the video that these cars aren't uh, modified in any way. They're exactly as I found them. That's not entirely true. I did do all the performance upgrades on these cars, but for their visuals, I left them exactly as they are. But I wanted to get the good performance, and I also have put bulletproof tires on all of them. But yeah, this car is otherwise exactly as I found it. Up next, we have a Declasse Tornado. GTA Forums is calling this series of cars. Uh, for the Tornado, specifically the NPC Modified Pimp Vehicles. They call this one the Unaffiliated Dark Steel Tornado Convertible. It is indeed a drop top. What makes this car unique is it has got a unique... Pearl color of pure white that you cannot get in Los Santos Customs. And then that wheel color that you see is a unique silver that you cannot get in Los Santos Customs. It does come with all the visual upgrades that you see with the bumper. Uh, and I believe there's a couple other upgrades on it as well. I can't remember what all is on it. Truth be told, I did change the plate on this one. and uh, But it comes with the window tint and everything that you see here. Here's a good view of the inside. And we'll go take a look at where you can find this car as well. So this Dark Steel Tornado can typically be found down here in Cypress Flats area in one of three locations. Uh, of course, it can also be found in the three gang car spawn locations that we'll talk about in another video. But uh, typically, this is the best place to find it. It helps to be driving a convertible tornado. And with all of these spawn cars, it helps to be driving the type of car 
that you're trying to get to spawn. And it really helps if you've got a friend who already has the exact spawn car that you're looking for. You'll greatly increase your chances. But you'll bump your chances up some to be at least driving the same type of car. But right there where we started off was one of the first locations that you'll see it sometimes parked, sometimes in traffic. A lot of times you'll see one driving right around this intersection here. Sometimes coming from the way we went or uh, came from. Sometimes uh, going either of the other ways. And then the third location that you'll occasionally find them in is right back here in this old uh, abandoned bus lot. And it'll be parked right here-ish. So yeah, that is the unique, unaffiliated Dark Steel Tornado Convertible. One hell of a long name. Up next, we've got the Bravado Gauntlet. Again, going back to GTA forums, this is the group that they're calling the NPC Modified Vehicles. A lot of these cars will only spawn, matter of fact, every car you've seen so far will only spawn on the new generation consoles and, of course, on PC. What makes this dark blue gauntlet particularly unique is the unique worn red wheel. I got lucky. Mine actually managed to save with the wheel color. For some reason, when you find one with red or white wheels, a lot of times when you save them, they lose their wheel color. I don't really know why that is. Probably just a bug in the game. But this is a beautiful paint job. And, of course, just a typical gauntlet inside. These can also be found in the same locations of the Los Santos Customs during those same hours from between about 11 a.m. and 4 p.m., in game helps to be driving a gauntlet it really helps to be driving one of these exact gauntlets this was the car that took me the longest to find i spent weeks looking for this one when i already had all these other cars collected up next is one of my personal favorites and it is the vapid dominator absolutely beautiful car and this car if you're just looking to get these to sell them has one of the highest sale prices gta forums is calling this the ultra blue dominator what makes it unique is it's got a secondary color that is a unique worn dark blue it's kind of hard to see there but you can see it and it does have a little bit of a worn look to it and then the pearl on top of it is the unique worn blue silver again two colors that you cannot get in Los Santos Customs. One really cool thing about this car, you might think that right now those windows are rolled down. They're not. This car just has uh, what GTA Forums is calling ultra clear windows. Just windows that pretty much look like they're barely there. You can kind of see it when I open the door, but otherwise it just looks like there's no windows in the car. A really kind of a cool effect. Just ultra, ultra clear. It doesn't give you any coloring to the game whatsoever and again this ultra blue dominator can be found parked outside of the three los santos customs locations that i detailed earlier for the ruiner so that's the first five of my rare npc spawn cars here down in the exceptionalist street if you guys want to see all 10 parts of my 44 million dollar 99 car garage tour Make sure you drop a like on this video. Want to make sure that we get a, a like for every single view that we have. So make sure you like it twice. Of course, you can't like it twice, I know. But tell your friends to come watch it and make sure they like it too. Want to get a like for every single view. And I will post part two in just a day or two. Up next is one of my personal favorites. This actually spawns in two variations, but it is the Vapid Sand King. XL. One version comes in yellow, one version comes in blue. For the blue version, what makes this unique is, again, the primary color of a unique worn light blue. And then it has a secondary unique worn light blue. And then to get that kind of purple effect, it's just got a standard Fister pink. Anybody can get that color. But those two unique colors, you cannot get. You may notice that the wheels are white, barely. They do spawn like that. And they do spawn with the window tent, truck cab everything that you see here and let's go take a look at where you can get this sand king to spawn so to get the sand king xl fully customized to spawn there's three different locations that it spawns at the least likely is up here in Polito bay right outside of ammunition you'll just find the driving and traffic off and pulling out from this road and turning right to come this way sometimes you'll see it doing the opposite making a left to go into that road but you can sometimes find them there you can sometimes find them just parked in the parking lot 
or I should say the car lot of this used car sales right here in the Grand Sonora Desert, right across from the Route 68 Los Santos Customs. But the best place, the place I have the best luck, is right here where you see highlighted on your map on the westernmost highway, right where it intersects with Route 68. You just drive in the direction I'm currently headed from the south, heading north, and a lot of times they will spawn. The best time to get these is between... Uh, well, according to GTA forums, 9 and 4 in the afternoon, so 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Uh, my best luck with them has been 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. I really don't see them after 1 p.m. And for the blue ones, they tend to spawn the most between 11 and 12, though I have seen them outside of those hours. Let's see if we can't get one to spawn here because it is just after 9, almost 10 o'clock in game. We may or may not. It's kind of hit or miss. Uh, I spent one day looking all day. For one, for a friend that never found one. A couple days later, I found four for four different friends that were hanging out with me in my lobby. So uh, you just drive up this way, and you'll see them appear driving down this ramp from the gas station. Doesn't look like we're going to get one this particular pass. But what you can do, if you don't get one on that, is drive right up through the gas station. Take it easy so you don't hit the gas pumps and blow up. And then just hang a U-turn out of the gas station come back around and sometimes there'll be one ready for you there we go there's a blue one right there at the intersection and they're going to be turning right every time you can steal it you can take it you can make it yours or you can sell it for quite a bit of money i think the blue one sells for like 18 a grand and the yellow one sells for right around 17 or 18 as well so there you go guys there's the blue sand king so up next, we have the Pure Gold Dubsta 2. This car is unique in that it does come in pure gold. It typically also comes with unique metal pure gold wheels. Unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier in the video, some of the cars don't save with their wheel color when you steal them. Uh, and this is one of them. It also kind of loses a little bit of its gold luster uh, on the paint job once you store it. The chrome one, however, uh, it will stay exactly how you find it. It does come in chrome. What makes this different from a regular Dubsta, what makes it a Dubsta 2, is all the trim that is normally chrome, like the door handles and the Benefactor logo and things like that, they're matte black on these. And the spare tire is positioned over to the left and cannot be removed and does not give you the traction benefits of a spoiler like on the regular Dubsta. For these, though, you can typically find them at the same Los Santos Customs locations. We'll go out here and see if we can find one. I seriously doubt it. This is one of the hardest cars to get to spawn, honestly. Um, I have had a hard time with them lately. They used to spawn constantly. Seems like any more, uh, they're really difficult to find, though. But we'll give it a shot, because just a second ago, dumpsters were spawning in this lobby. Of course, it doesn't look like they are anymore. To get a dumpster 2 to spawn, the best bet is to be driving a dumpster 2. Which you're like, well, how do I get one to spawn if I don't already have one? Brandon, well, that's where I come in. If you're on PC, hit me up. Add me on PC. Brandon72mo, I'll help you spawn one. Oh, look at that. There's a chrome one right there. Bam, just like that. Done. Great thing about these is they have an excellent, excellent sale price. You can see that the chrome one comes with a nice black wheel, and that black does stay put when you store it in your garage. Often considered getting a chrome one instead of the gold one, but I already have a gold one, so whatever. But as you can see here, these things have a nice little sale price. So you can make yourself a decent amount of money with these. You just go up to sell not roof and bam 23 grand is yours just like that done and next in our lineup here on exceptionalist street is the chariot romero hearse now this is the car that i have modified i changed the wheels i changed the paint because honestly this isn't a car that comes with anything unique that you cannot get in los Santos customs what makes this car very very rare is that the only way to get one is to already have one or have somebody that already has one they spawn in three different locations on the map and we're going to take a look at all of those right now so the first place you're going to find the hearse spawning is right here in rancho on davis avenue right outside of the strawberry mortuary and as you can see i pulled up in my hearse and there's one there you can tell this one's mine because it's white it says six feet under on the license plate <laughs> 
But yeah, this is the first place to get them. Sometimes you'll find them around back, but usually it's parked right here on the street. Let's take a look at the second location. And location number two for the Romero Hearse is here in the Pacific Bluffs, right outside the Hill Valley Church of Los Santos, where everyone is welcome. At the church, it's right next to the cemetery. You can see there's my hearse. Had a little bit of an accident getting here. And there's the one that spawned in right next to you. I'm in this lobby all by myself. This is not somebody else's hearse. I did not take it from that other location. You can tell by the different license plate. Cool thing is, a lot of times, not this time, but a lot of times, this will spawn three or four hearses at once. There'll be one or two over here in this parking lot. One in this side parking lot where you see the black one right now. And then occasionally there'll be another one right around to the side. Apparently, Reverend I am Voland really likes his hearses. Let's take a look at that third location. And our third and final location for the Romero hearse is out here in the country, just off of Route 68, Great Chaparral, Chaparral, however you say that, just west of the Grand Sonora Desert at the Little Country Church. Often you can hear the bell ringing right now. It's not a little cemetery out front. Usually the hearse is parked here, but it's only usually here in the daytime for me. I never find one at night. And, of course, it is nighttime, as you can see in the game. So that's why there's not one here right now. But it'll usually be in this parking lot or down there in the cemetery itself. Cool thing about the Romero hearse is it will spawn on every single console and on PC. So even old gen, you can get a hearse if you really want one. Just be sure you know somebody who already has a hearse. One of the great things you can do is go online to the GTA forums and look for their NPC modified rare vehicle bicycle mega thread. I will post a link in the description down below the video. If you ask those guys for help, tell them what platform you're on, tell them what car you're looking for, somebody will usually respond pretty quick. You can meet up and you can help get some help in getting the car to spawn. Number nine on our first of 10 garage tours is the BF Surfer. One of the slowest cars in the game. What makes this one unique is that it comes with that unique worn yellow taxi yellow as a primary and a unique utilitary or utilitarian or utility, I don't know, they abbreviated on the website, bright red. Neither color can you get in Los Santos Customs. And then typically the wheels match that same yellow. Unfortunately, they didn't save. I tried my best to repaint them. Didn't do a very good job. Doesn't really match. But whatever. Let's take a look at where this slow piece of shit spawns. You can find your own BF Surfer fully customized out here on the beach. Right where you see my car location. What you want to do is head up the highway here. Turn off on this little dirt road. Come down here and then make a right. Right up to where I'm sitting. You'll either see it where my van's currently sitting or just to the other side of those tents. And you too can have a really slow, but really custom looking ride. And finally, the last car for the first part of my 99 car tour is the Race Yellow Rat Loader. This car also comes in a green color, but what makes the Race Yellow Rat Loader unique isn't the Race Yellow color on it, but it's the unique Dew Yellow Pearl. And what makes that a unique is you cannot typically get a pearl option in Los Santos Custom under any circumstances on a rat loader. So that makes this really unique. Plus, it comes with a unique pure white wheel. I know it's kind of hard to tell that it's white, but trust me, it is. And of course, this truck does come customized with everything that you see on it. I've done nothing to it except performance upgrades and bulletproof tires. Now, let's go take a look at where you can get this baby to spawn. If you want to get your own custom rat loader, then you need to head up north to Polito Bay at Beaker's Garage, as you can see highlighted right there on the map. Between the hours of 9 a.m. and 2 p.m., it's just after 9, so I'm going to go see if we can't get one to spawn in either of the colors. Cool thing about the rat loader is you can actually get it to spawn driving just about any muscle car. It is in the muscle car category, even though it is painfully slow. But uh, a lot of times they'll spawn driving any old muscle car. I think I was driving a Dominator when I found mine. Not one there on the first pass. Let's try driving away and coming back. Usually you just got to get uh, 
beaker's out of view there, and they're just parked right up near the street, or the road in this case. So uh, we'll hang a, a U-turn. Don't know if we're going to get lucky here or not. Doesn't look like we are today, but where you'll find it is parked in one of these uh, parking spots right here to the side of Beaker's Garage. In both color variations, driving just about any muscle car, it'll be parked up right about here. So there you have it, guys. That is roughly $1.3 million worth of rare cars that you can only get by having them spawn in and usually only get by already having something at least similar or exactly like these cars. You cannot get these paint jobs. You cannot get these cars unless you get them to spawn. If you want to see part two, remember we're going for a like for every single view on the video, and I will post two and a half million dollars worth of JDM cars over on Popular Street right here with my second character. So this has been part one of my 99 car, 10 car, or 10 garage tour totaling $44 million. Make sure you follow me on social media, Brandon72Mo on both Facebook and Twitter. Come hang out with me on the Vainglorious forums, btyb.freeforums.net. And I will see you in the next video.